we have a box again and this time we have square base as well like earlier and we want to have an open touch just like earlier but it tells us that we must have the volume of 32,000 centimeter cube and we are going to find the dimension of the box that will minimize the amount of material used that means we have to find the surface area and minimize it we have a box so let me just put a box like this with square base but I don't know how long each side is, right? So I will just label this as X and that will be X because it's square on the bottom. And for the height, I will just call that to be Y. And we know the volume is X times X times Y, which is X squared times Y. And it's given to be, it has to be equal to 32,000. Good. And now we will have to find the minimum of the surface area of the box. And now let me kind of remind you guys how to find the surface area. We'll just have to break this apart and the picture will, similar, will be similar to what we did right here. So have a look. We have the bottom, right? So in the middle, we will have a square like so, and that's X and X, all right? And then we also have this on each side, right? So just can attach this part here and then here, and then here, and then here. And there's no top, so this will be it. And this little red part is just Y. This right here, the area for that is X squared. So S is equal to X squared. And we have a total of four of these red parts. And notice that here we have Y, and this is also going to be X. So we must have x times y, but four of them, so 4xy. So that's the surface area for this. Now, same thing. Here though, we will have to divide both sides by x squared, and we get y equals 32,000 divided by x squared, and then plugging and then worked out. Here we get a surface area as a function of x. We get that x squared plus 4x times y, which is 32,000 over x squared. And again, do some algebra first. Surface area is equal to x squared plus, well, we can cancel out this x with one of them, and then four times 32,000, we get 128,000. x on the bottom, that's ready as x to a negative one. And then take the derivative, we get 2x plus, well, we put the negative one to the front and then minus one, and we get, this is actually going to be a minus 128,000. And here we have x to a negative two, so that's over x squared. And now we are going to set this to be zero. And perhaps I'm just going to get a common denominator real quick. So I will just multiply x squared here and here. So we are going to get two x to the third power minus 128,000 over x squared, and this should be equal to zero. And to make that equal to zero, we just have to make sure the top is equal to zero. So 2x to the third power minus 128,000 is equal to zero, meaning we'll just have to get, let me just zoom in like this, put this to the other side. So we have 2x to the third power equals 128,000. Divide both sides by 2. x to the third power equals 64,000. And here, we can just take the cube root on both sides. And when you take cube root on both sides, you don't worry about the plus or minus. So this right here, x will be equal to 40. And this is the critical number that we care. And now, here, how are we going to verify this? So again, you can use the second derivative test or the first derivative test. It's kind of like up to you. And uh, perhaps that's to the second derivative test. Okay, V double prime. Right here, let's look at this form. Take the derivative, we get 2, right, from the 2x here. And then this right here, we'll just put a negative 2 to the front. So it becomes plus 2 times 128 and then x to the negative 2 minus 1, which is negative 3 like that. 
and I don't really need to work out the value of this because as you can see when we plug in 14 to the X let me tell you this is for sure going to be positive so now we know the first derivative at 40 is equal to 0 and the second derivative at 40 is positive so there is a minimum when x is equal to 40. And now we just have to find the dimension. So we have the x already. And keep in mind, x is here and here. And now we just have to give the y. And the y is 32,000 over x squared. And that will be 32,000 over 4t squared. We get 20. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's the answer. We have 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters because that's x and x. And lastly, we have 20 centimeters. And that is...